In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on straight lines. All right, here we've got a problem which reads like this. It says if the angle between two lines is pi by 4, that is nothing but a 45 degrees, I guess, 180 degrees by 4, see so a 45 degrees, and slope of one of the line is uh, 1 by 2, find the slope of the other line. So now, uh, since the angle between two lines is pi by 4, we know that, you know, pi by 4 is nothing but 45 degrees, which is an acute angle. So we know that it is the acute angle, but anyways, the theta between two lines of slopes m1 and m2 is given by tan theta equals mod of m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. So this is how you find the angle between two lines, but then, yeah, of course, uh, when you've got the two slopes of the line, but here it's the, it's the other way around. We've got the angle, but we do not have the slopes of the the two lines. We've just got slope of one of the line. We need to find the slope of the other line. So now let's say M1 is half, that is slope of one line, and M2 be equal to M. All right. So we have what? Tan of pi by 4 equals mod of m minus 1 by 2. m2 is replaced by m and m1 is replaced by 1 by 2. So we have m minus 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus m1 is 1 by 2 and m2 is m. So 1 plus half m. So solving this tan 45 degrees is 1 and then m minus 1 by 2 is nothing but 2m minus 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 plus half of m is nothing but 2 plus m divided by 2 in the mods or 1 equals mod of 2m minus 1 by 2 divided by 2m plus 1 by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So we have 1 equals, so now we need to take out the mod. So the 1 becomes plus or minus, right? I mean, as long as there is the mod, the sign is not very important. But once the mod is taken out, it becomes plus or minus. So plus or minus 1 equals 2m minus 1 divided by 2 plus m. So we have now 2 m minus 1 equals m plus 2 or 2m minus 1 equals minus of m plus 2. So we have uh, m equal to 3 or m equal to minus 1 by 3 on solving these two equations. So hence the slope of the other line. The other line that they've asked us to find is either 3 or minus 1 by 3. There are two answers, of course, because it is plus or minus. So therefore, m equals 3. The slope of the other line equals 3 or minus 1 by 3. All right. So that is how you solve this problem. It's a very simple and straightforward problem, I'd say. There is the angle given and then slope of one of the side is what we have to find. One of the line is what we have to find. So definitely we need to use this formula, which, which relates both the which equates both the angle and both the slopes of the lines. So here we know two things, we just don't know one thing, and that is very easily solved by basic mathematical operations, all right? So that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on straight lines.